Oh, <laughs> chances are you may have had a difficult time finding at least one thing you need on that grocery list. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough looks ahead to potential further problems for shoppers this holiday season. We'll all be heading to the grocery store at some point over the next few days to pick up all those holiday favorites, but will they actually be there? Sometimes it can depend on where you shop. I just got back from Trader Joe's and there didn't seem to be a problem there with supply. Uh, however, I have been to a couple of places. Uh, seems like it was the, gro the drugstore and I noticed some bare shelves there. Experts say there are a variety of reasons we're seeing fewer items on some grocery store shelves right now. It's a different kind of, of manufacturing in a lot of cases, right? You, you can't just, uh, you know, run a cow through uh, a, a manufacturing plant and have it come out the other end in, in 24 hours. Then there's the issue of transportation, finding enough truck drivers to deliver the items to the stores where you shop, but that's not all. We see a lot of these companies that make the packaging for grocery products, for consumer packaged goods, have slowed, slowed down what they're producing, um, largely because they can't get the inputs. And the overarching problem is just a shortage of workers across the entire supply chain, leaving shoppers with no choice but to hope what they'll need will be in stock, some even turning to online grocery ordering. But the prices were so extremely high, I'm sure I would have spent twice as much had I done that, but that's what I did all during COVID. Employers are encouraged to offer incentives to interest more workers, which will help fix the problem over time. Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.